Hello, hello, hello. Today is October 17, 2018. As I mentioned earlier, you're doing amazingly well on problem 45. About 85% of you have the answer correct. Yet, <laughs> what is actually strange, that of the 15% that have things wrong, they often have the time correct, the X position correct, the Y position correct, but not the angle alpha. So, watch my solutions, which I will post uh, probably within two days. So you don't have much time left if you want to give problem 45 another shot. About a week after I post the solutions, I will post a new problem. And the reason why I post this video is, it's really a question for you. I will give you the choice between either another rather simple high school problem or a way more difficult coupled oscillator problem. Remember, 43 was a coupled oscillator problem. And people didn't do so well. So therefore I made another one. To see what you have learned. So, just send me a note and say, yes, we would like the difficult problem, or no, we would rather have an easy one. Okay? Have a nice day. Take care. And surely, all of you are my friends. Many of you ask me, was my answer correct? Did I do something wrong? And I also often get the question, how many solutions were there? Well, I did not keep track of how many solutions there were the first two days. All I remember is that about 85% of the answers were correct. But I did keep track of how many solutions there were during the past three days. There were 101 solutions during the past three days. One, zero, one. And 86 of them were correct. So the 85% is a good representation for how easy the problem was. So I'm still eagerly awaiting to hear from you. Should the next problem be tough? Coupled oscillators, not easy, or should it be another easy high school problem? I can't wait to hear your answer.